Alright guys, you know when you're watching sports and you see the guys getting psyched up before the match, they got their headphones in, bobbing their head, jumping up and down, maybe doing primal screams like, ah! And you're like, this guy's kind of a psycho. But you know them getting themselves psyched up for the match. Well, the reason why athletes do that is because it's called priming. It's the way they set their mind up for the match and the game ahead of time. And now what I found in my own life is that for getting motivated in the morning or any time during the day, a similar priming ritual can be used. And that's what I want to share with you guys in today's video. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book Master of the Day. Now, obviously, there are a lot of different rituals people use to have tons of energy. And certainly during the worst years of my life, getting up in the morning was the toughest. And even to this day, when I've got a long 12 hour day, like I literally will go to medical classes, see patients for four hours, and then come back and have to shoot videos, I'm completely fried. And sometimes what I have to do, even if it's not the morning, is this kind of priming ritual. Now for me, any good priming ritual involves three things. It involves the body, it involves the mind, and it involves what I call vitality, or almost like your spirit. So if you think about like an athlete before a match, what are they doing? Their body, they're jumping up and down, they're loosening up, they're exercising. What are they doing with their mind? They're listening to music, right? Almost always have music in. They Sometimes there's even their own personal affirmations and things like that I've heard athletes do. But the music and the body, the music is something for the spirit in the sense that it gets them amped up. They put on their same playlist, sometimes even the same track over and over on repeat, and the music is for the spirit to wake up. And when I mean spirit, what I mean is the difference between you show up to your job on Monday morning at 9 a.m. and you're just like, that's one end of the spectrum for your spirit. Now imagine the difference of being in love or the morning of Christmas. You're like, hamster on meth. Everything is all good, all excited, nothing changed. It was just an internal state. So this is what I would call the spirit, okay? So something that moves the body, changes the mind, and activates the spirit. And here's what I would do. For me, for body, what I do is anything that activates the blood and gets your circulation going. Now what I like to do is shaking. Now this is basically, think of it as like a cross between a jumping jack and just shaking out. But you do it for 10 minutes. And basically what shaking does is it wakes you up. This is actually a Chinese form of Qigong, kind of like a longevity exercise. But shaking for me is easy, it's lazy, and you can stand up while you're listening to music or doing something else. You can do it anywhere, and you don't look that weird. I mean, you look a little weird, but you could look weirder. And shaking for me is how I get the blood going. The second part is the mind. So for me, for the mind, I actually borrow this from the Tony Robbins priming video. Now what he actually does is he goes through a sequence that many people have done throughout history, but it's a combination of gratitude and visualizing your goals. So the first part is that basically you see yourself going through three things you can be grateful for. So the first thing could be that family dinner that inspired you and made you so happy and so grateful to have a family. The second thing you're grateful for could be going back to school to get your master's and something you're passionate about or something you're doing in the evening, that trip coming up. The third thing you're grateful for could be the person you're dating or some other project you're working on. So I do this whole thing while I'm shaking, while I have music on. I'm just sitting there shaking and I'm going through these visualizations one by one. And then from there, I go through the three goals I'm working on for that year. So your three goals could be, for example, getting fitter and losing 10 pounds of fat. So you're shaking, you got the music going, you're seeing yourself in the new body you wanna be in. The second thing could be saving $3,000 to go to that Paris trip or to go take some other trip or go to Coachella or whatever. So you're shaking, you got the music going, you see yourself in that place and you feel happy. You feel the emotion of having reached the goal. And then the third goal could be starting your YouTube channel or beginning your book, or it could be meeting someone that you really are serious about and wanna be in a relationship with. So again, you're shaking, the music's going, you feel the emotion of having found that person or being in that event or having written your book or shot your first video and seeing all the comments beneath it that they helped you so much. And as you're shaking, the blood flow's going, as the music's playing, your mind is going, you're visualizing, and you've activated two parts right now. So you've activated the physical body, you've activated the mental body, if you wanna call it that. 
Now the third part, after I do that, is for the spirit. Now this is where it gets a little bit weird, but you gotta trust me on this. So in the 1970s, there was this popular practice called primal scream therapy. And the idea was that by screaming and releasing this pain that was stored within you, health problems and other issues would go away. Now, what I have found is that if you go beast mode at the end of this priming ritual, it gives you this, this odd sense of embodiment, meaning it makes you feel in your body, feel strong and feel powerful. So I literally, after doing this priming ritual, if you don't believe me, you can get a pillow, scream bloody murder into that pillow, or go into your car, or if you have a place that's not too public, like here in this little back porch here, go out and literally let loose a primal, bloody scream. Sounds weird, you gotta trust me on it. Grab a pillow and scream as loud as you can into that pillow, like you're trying to rip down every wall in your house. And stand up and don't tell me, try to tell me you don't feel way more powerful, way more vital, and way more alive. So that is the way I wrap up my priming ritual in the morning. I do the shaking to wake up, the visualization process. I have it on a tape now. I play music at the same time that gets me amped up at a low level. And from there, as soon as I stop, I feel calm, I feel warm, I've gone through the visualization. Then I do a few of those just good, real guttural, visceral screams. And then I feel like I'm ready to just destroy the world and do whatever it takes. I know that sounds a little odd, but try it out. Don't hate it till you try it, all right? Make sure you warn your neighbors or your mom or whoever you're living with, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, let them know what you're working on and you're trying something a little bit different, but you will feel the power after, that I am certain. So I hope that helps. Before you go, let me know down below, in your own life, what has helped you get motivated in the morning? Hey guys, it's Alex. I hope you like this video. The best way to stay in touch is to grab the free guide on my site, five daily habits to help you lose your next 20 to 30 pounds. And also, if you like my tiny daily habits approach, check out my book called Master the Day on the success habits I learned interviewing people that lost 100 pounds and kept it off. And you can check it out in the description there or on Amazon.